with the weather as marginal as it has been the past couple weeks, you have to take advantage of the weather windows you're given. Today we are offshore in the Gulf of Mexico exploring one of my favorite fisheries, fishing hard bottom and potholes for giant red grouper. We are headed out of Marco Island, Florida, deep into the Gulf of Mexico. This is Fisher Family Adventures and I invite you to come along on another journey with me. Is that why you haven't caught any bait? Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, there you go. I'm just gonna put them here and then I'll grab them. There we go, perfect bait. Perfect bait. Another one right here. Spot tail ground. Yeah, I got the bottom. I popped a couple times and then I stepped to the bottom as I like it didn't get hit. Oh my god, another grunt. Don't say no to that. After filling our bait well with live bait, we head to fish from strike lines, bottoms, and 100 feet of water. And if you're unfamiliar with strike lines, click the link below in the description to learn more. Come over to our first strike line spot. Throw another six inches, but yeah, year in year about 92 feet of water, just some hard bottom in between two marks. We're gonna fish it. Is that a good one? Is that a keeper? That's gonna be close. Yeah, it's a keeper. Wow. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. Maybe you should get that net out. Robbie, you want to hand me that net in there? Four or 24. 24? 28 or 24? I think 24. Well, that's that one in the box. I won't say no to that. I don't see it yet. It's fighting, though. I'm only guessing two friends will guess if I know. Yeah. People love pointing that out, but I like guessing. <laughs> that's not a bad one. I think Brendan's closer to 28. Nah, that's like a 24. Yeah. That's a good 24. Nice red grouper. On the jig, right? Squidlicious. Squidlicious. Love it. Oh. Keeper? No. Oh, you got doubled up. Squidlicious. On the strike lines. Some better bottom here. I don't know if there's any big keepers, though. You good, Robert? Yeah, Omar's Man. This whole day we were outfished by my buddy Daryl and his squid lure. If you're interested in buying some of his lures, I'll put his email below in the description. Look at the bottom, man. That's some real hard bottom. This one feels strange. Mine felt strange too. It kind of felt like a shark. Yeah, it's, it's like it's giving some free line. Look at that bottom. On the strike line spot. Whatever it is, it's going to keep, right? No? All right. Might be close. Worth the measure. Yeah? No, he ain't gonna make it. He tried to eat him. Yeah. Some bigs are on this side, Omar. Yeah, Some wants this bait. <laughs> Got him. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Gotta tighten up my drag a little bit. Yeah. This'll keep. Oh yeah, doubled up. Nah, this guy lightened up. He might be another 18. I think he'll keep though. 
It's got to use a live bait. What do we got? Let's see. Ah, I think I'll keep. Right about 20. Yeah, he'll be close. He's, he's not, not, um, just that 21. I'll keep him. All right, we got a couple keepers in shallower. Seas picked up a little bit. We're gonna head out to about 105, 110 feet. Try some strike lines numbers I haven't hit before. A good grouper? Yeah, it's turning. Bumping real, my friend. You want the, um, this might not be a grouper. Did I pick up? Yeah, I think you should pick up. This could be an AP or something. It's running, right? It's a grouper. It's running now. Uh, it's a grouper. The boat was drifting back. This is a good one then. You still can't. You want the rod butt thing? Yeah, if you got handy. Yeah, I got it. You gotta get them off the bottom though, my friend. Way off the bottom. Yeah. All right. I've already got probably 10 cranks on it. That's right. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. This is a good fish. 30? That's what I'm saying. It might not be a grouper. Unless you're pretty certain. Looks like it's digging, but it, it ran a bunch at first. I think the boat was going back up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will tell you that there's a lot to be said about getting down there first. Oh, yeah. First boat, first boat. Yeah. He doesn't have anything good to say about the fisherman, just to <laughs> how fast he's... Hey, it's before I even get down. Oh, what is it? Is that a grouper? Yeah, it's a good red. Good red. It's a nice fish. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, nice one. That's a nice one. Oh, yes, it is. That's why we came out to 108 feet. That's a 30. Is that what that is? Good job, man. Yeah, that looks like a slipper lobster, right? Or a crab, or a He's on the hook. Okay, we're good. I'll get him. You got him? You guys go. All right. I, I got, you got to hold him. This big grouper had this, all this lobster in his mouth. Look at his claws in the body. Wow. On the strike lines number. Just a small piece of hard bottom here in 180 feet. Hold, hold him up. 34 inch red grouper. Yep. Good one? That's a good one. Yeah. On the drift too. I don't get the fit, feel the bite, but he looks like a keeper. Yeah, no, I took the hook for you. I think it'll keep. Once you drop down then, Daryl. I think it'll keep. Yeah, it feels like a keeper. 26? Yeah, I don't even think that's like you gotta guess the uh, the length. I would say 24. Hmm. Well, look, something down there. Did you see that? Yeah. I don't know what That's that is. That's a little shark. It's a baby shark, or a moor or something. Let me get the net. Coming, coming. Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. Good one. Not a bad one. Twenty-four. I don't know. I said twenty-four, maybe twenty-five. That's his big brother. Is that his big brother? I'm not down. Is that his big brother? I think he'll keep though. I think it's his little sister. Oh, smaller. Doubled up on the strike lines. I think that'll keep. Nah, he's got some weight to him though, no? Oh, it's a gag. Oh, it's a little gag? That's why. Oh, you're 
you mind my phone? I, I mean, I'll take it on the GoPro and I'll send it to you. If that's all right. Nice rig grouper. There you go, up and down, up and down, just like the boat. Get him. That's a good one. There you go. I love it. It's a good fish, isn't it? Yeah. He's pulling drag, man. That's a damn good fish. You wanna come back here? Open the black. Yeah, there's, there were good marks down there. This is on the um No! Oh. Pulled the hook. Fill it up, I wanna see if it was a knot. It didn't break. Yeah, I'm always teasing Robert about that. Yeah, that's a shit. It'll break. He pulled off? Yeah, I still got the line. Did you have too much heat on it or what happened? That was a freaking good fish. Jig's still there, you pulled the hook. You know, you broke the hook off. No, straighten the, the hook out. Now, hey, just so everybody knows, those aren't my fish. I don't sell those to you. Oh, is that the fish you lost? Hopefully. Whenever you're ready, man. Oh, that's a good one. He's not your. He's not the one you lost, though, Robert. Yours was much bigger. He's coming. I think it'll be one for the box. I think it's a 27. No. He's got way to him. 25. 25. All right. It's a good fish, though. Yeah, the one Robert had on, freaking. Yeah, he wasn't moving it much. This one's coming. Well, he was pulling him up, but I think he had too much pressure on him, like you said. Yeah, once you get him off the bottom, you, you don't have to. See, that's why I use those BKK hooks, because they won't straighten those ones. Well, those hooks that he has on there is what came on that uh, flat jig, right, Robert? On the, uh, the seam. Yeah, that'll keep. A good color. That, that red will keep. Oh, that's a good one. Nice fish. Number five. Am I on the... Nice fish. A nice fish. Oh, that's him. That's him. Is that a red? Don't put too much heat on, man. We know the hooks can't last. No, these are different hooks than he has. <laughs> this isn't a red, right? I'm not gonna call it yet. I think it is a red. Open it to black. We already caught your PB earlier, 34. Is this bigger? No. He's coming though. I've got plenty of cranks on him. If he wants to run somewhere, he can run. I'm gonna... Freaking it. We got truck that fish, didn't it? Yeah, I think this is a grouper. Yeah, it's. I think it's a red. That's how nice a guy Robert is. He let him go. He's got keeper number six. Yeah, We're gonna see him, aren't we? We all made it down this time. We can't even bitch about it. There he is. I got him. That's a good one. Oh my god. That's that like the one I missed. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> That's like a 28. That's like a 28 right there. Eh, you might go 30 actually. That's a fat one though. Yeah, that's a fat fish. You want him up? So that this jig is uh, out fishing all the people fishing with bait here for the red grouper. Doing awesome. Oh, that's him. Yeah. He was pulling drag at the beginning, man. You want to slide back? Or are you good there? Oh, that's a good fish, man. He's pulling drag on the live bait? Oh, play him easy then. Hey, I'm going to reel in. Can you move him? Oh, reel in, guys. Reel in. Oh, yeah, reel in. I don't think this is a red grouper. Reel in. No. Oh, no. Go ahead, a grouper. 
Yeah. What, what was that, shark, you think? <laughs> this is a good spot. All right, home, real, no, no, real. I want to I move like 50 feet on this spot. But there was no way that was a grouper. Yeah, but it was running though. It could be, could have been an AP. Think? How much drag did you have on him? Oh, Brendan, why do you want to move like that screen? No, no, I'm moving. So we caught two. Hold on. So even though we got a screen like this, we're going to move 50 feet to the other side of the pothole. That's the nice thing about these And see if there's more keepers there. <laughs> there's a strawberry grouper. And there's no size limit on those guys, right? <laughs> oh, that's him. Robert's on Get him off the bottom. That's a good one. Oh, you see that? Get him up, man. I'm trying to get down there. It's a good fish, isn't it? Hey, these look like snapper, though. But who knows what that is? Is that taking drag? Yeah, you're at an angle. I'm not getting red grouper vibes off that, my friend. And I can't stick my feet underneath. I don't think this is a red grouper, guys. I think you have an AJ or a big snap, big mutton. Yeah, this is an AJ or big mutton, man. Omar's on. On the strike lines, hard bottom right here, doubled up. up. Tiny little piece of hard bottom. In the middle of nowhere. Yeah, man, we're gonna see this fish. I don't, this is there's no way it's a red grouper, right? No. I'm thinking it's an AJ or a mutton or maybe an AP. It's coming up, it's almost there. What do we got? Is that an AJ? It's long. It's following up. His friends are following up, so I think it's an AJ. Yep. Let me move this. Move this out of the way. He's on me. Is it an AJ? Yep. Yeah? AJ. AJ. Okay. AJ? What do we got here? Probably a grouper, then, right? I'm not sure, but it feels good. Oh, there's something behind it. AJs are following him up, so it's probably an AJ. Then it looks like an AJ. Yeah, it's an AJ. It's an AJ. Double AJs, but there's probably good fish on the bottom, right? If we caught AJs here, that's a live bait fish. Oh, you feeling jackish? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's his bigger brother, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that run. I still think they're pretty fun to catch. You want to catch it? No. <laughs> I'm not touching your reel. <laughs> oh, you like these here? <laughs> Come on, he should end up being a block. That thing's pulling drag, man. Yeah, it is. It's a good fish. This is bigger than the other one you caught. Much. Feels the tail beats like a jack though, right? Yeah. Oh, he's coming towards you now. You never know, man, what you hook down there. Especially never. on the bottom like this. Never know. But he feels like it. It looks, it's fighting just like a jack too. But you don't want this for the video? I'm watching. No, I'm saying for you. No, 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 no. I'd rather have you real. <laughs> He's going back down, man. I'm not writing him off as an AJ yet, but it looks just fine, just like one. <sighs> you do? It's gonna be close. I mean, it's on a live bait, so. I would say yes. I can, I can feel you on my line. Oh, well, let's get him up then before we do any shenanigans yeah, like that. Anything. I'm just staying. We're getting close. We're too short before we're going for Cobia. So I think we need him. I think he's filling. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. You want to throw me the net? There you go. I was wondering where that is. That's a good one. Uh, 22. He'll keep. I mean, I told you he was going to be a keeper. But not, not very good. We're gonna be a massive keeper, but. Oh, we're through the. Vermilions, aren't they? Those are vermilions! 
Yeah, bro. No, this is the group that's eating those millions. <laughs> hey, why don't you pull up that troll motor, my friend? Is this our last one? Yeah, it's our last one. Did not, you see that how he told me not to drop? I saw that. He oh, said, yeah. don't drop. Those are all vermilions. I didn't want to waste your time. <laughs> when you knew you'd get down there first. get down first and I... get the big one. <laughs> That's great. That's a good one. Yeah, he's not. He's maybe at a 24 to 26. Good fish. You going to toss me that net? hard to tell because the trolling motor is not holding us, right? No. That's so, it. Yeah, so it's hard to tell. Thank you. It'll keep, though. That, that oh, thing yeah. hit hard, too. I see him. Oh, I see him, too. Keep pumping him. Keep pumping him, Daryl. Ah! What did I say, 24 to 26? Yeah. Oh. In the net. In the 26, I would say. Yeah. All right. All That's our limited red grouper there. Noon. After catching our limited red grouper, we headed the tower to look for some cobia and pull in some bigger amberjacks. Eating the chum right out of the bag. Yeah. Hey, dudes are coming up and eating the chum out of the bag. I was on the bottom. Wonder how big of an AJ this is. And will he get sharked or not? That's the question. The Kobe weren't cooperating that day, so we head back to the dock to fillet up our catch. Well, there's our catch back at the dock. Eight nice looking red grouper. We got the biggest one on the jig, right? Biggest one was on the squidlicious. Biggest one on the jig. Two of them really nice here. Biggest one was 34 inches. Now we're gonna cut them up. Cut them. So there's a lot of meat on up here in the head, so. Yeah, I'll come over here. Yeah, there you go. All the way up to the head. Right. Just try to feel the knife hit that center of bone once it gets past it, go all the way through. You think bleeding makes a difference? You know, I'm sure it does. But that, that meat's really nice and white. This looks real white, this meat. Once you get at that point, you can just kind of pull and leave the rib cage right on the meat. And that's, and that's what you're left with. That's how we end up with a really nice fillet. And then, uh, as long as you keep it at a nice angle, you can just uh, put your fingers on the rest of the skin and pull it off. Look at that. And that's what you're left no with. No bloodline. You just give a little tilt, that bloodline will stay actually on the skin and not be on your meat. If you get mm -hmm. too close to the skin, then you get all that bloodline here on your foot. So that's how I do it. Cool. Great work. Pelicans are happy. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the kitchen here. Today, we're going to be making one of my favorite grouper recipes. We're going to bake our grouper and then we're gonna serve it over some rice and some beans and some salsa, sour cream and avocados. So right now we're gonna dry out all of our grouper and cut out all the bones and skin and anything else that was left over from filleting it at the dock. So that's what we're gonna do now and then we're gonna cook it up. Right now we're just trimming out our pin bones, making sure there's no excess bones. Then we're gonna put on the paper towel and we're gonna dry it off. So we got these two fillets, trim out the pin bones, and just checking for any extra bones that may have been left behind. All right, so it looks like our grouper, got a little bit of skin here. Trim that out real quick. And we are good to go here. 
No extra bones left. So I did something new with, uh, not new, we've known the past couple times, we've been bleeding all of our fish and then salt water browning them overnight before we fillet them. And I think the meat quality turns out better than the standard way we're doing it before without bleeding them and browning them overnight. You can tell there's no bloodline and it's all really white meat coming off this grouper. So I would definitely recommend bleeding your fish. All right, so we got our oil hot. We got our oven set to 375. We go ahead and toss some of our grouper fillets in. We'll get two fillets in here. And we're gonna season it with our Everglades fish and chicken. Love this stuff, it's the best for grouper, I think. Not too much, just a little bit on the top. We got some stone crabs and some clams to go with it too. Season's open until May for another couple months. All right, give this about two minutes on either side and then we're gonna finish it off in the oven. All right, we're gonna go ahead and flip our grouper. And when you bleed them out, there's way less of a bloodline, less noticeable than if you don't. I'm actually definitely gonna do this with all of my grouper from now on. Just bleed them and salt water brine them on ice. Keep them really, really cold. That right, will give us another couple minutes and then we're gonna throw it in the oven. All right, time for the oven. Get the rest of our dish, stick it in there. I'm gonna let that sit for five, 10 minutes. And cook up some of these stone crabs. Let's, uh, let's check the grouper. It's just about done. You can see you can put a fork through and it's flaking through, so it's just about done. Now we're gonna serve it. You can see it's just flaking apart. The scooper is definitely done. Now we're gonna put it over our dish and finish it off. Hmm, that tastes great. All right, so we got our grouper dish here. We've got the rice, beans, sour cream, a little bit of shredded cheese and salsa, and then our grouper over it. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll put out a video next Tuesday like I do every Tuesday.